Oh, so glad you're with me this week. Powerful word found in 1 John chapter 3, verse number 1. It says this, Behold, take a look at, gaze. Put your eyes on this, John is saying. What manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons, not the slaves, but the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. John here was really, he was known as the apostle of love. And in that New Testament, the Greeks had different words for, you know, they were so exact in their language, more so than the, our culture today. And one of the words of love was storge, which meant family love, the way you love your mother, your father. Eros, which would be sexual or marriage love. You know, phileo, which would be brotherly love. And agapeo, which would be unconditional with a God kind of love, where you love, but you don't expect anything back in return. And, and it's a love you, it's not a love you if or love you because, it's I love you anyhow. And that's the kind of love that God gave for you and me. Unconditional love. You know, even in your worst of your worst, even after you're born again, even after you've mishandled the trial or faith or you've backslidden or you've, you know, you've been out of confession for a while or who knows what, who knows what. I mean, the enemy likes to come in and make you feel unwanted, unloved, like a failure. And John is saying, hold on here. Our God's love is not performance oriented. Our God's love isn't based on, you know, how you perform with the Bible or how you perform in church or how you perform in your private. Uh-uh. He said, what manner of love the Father's given that we should be called the sons. Do you get mad at your sons? Yeah. Do you disown them? No. I mean, do you feel like wringing their neck sometimes? Yeah. But do you? No. Why? Because there's something in here that takes over that says, bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Guess what God says? You are spirit of my spirit. And the love I have for you is an everlasting love. It's an unconditional love. Does he discipline? Yeah. Does he allow things to take place to get us into the right spot? Of course. But all in all, the grace that he has is not because you do this or because you don't do that. He just loves you anyhow. We're not used to that kind of love. This whole world's based on conditional love. If you perform, if you look right, if you're the right weight, if you dress the right clothes, if you have the right job, if you make the right amount of money, if you perform the right amount of duties. And we don't know that this love that Jesus has is just based on, I love you. It's radical, it's different. It takes an adjusting to get used to that. But make it your goal this year to begin to say, you know what, that love that he has for me, Oh, I want that. Because what we'll do, it'll deliver you. And it'll make you realize that even though you're working in a job where it's conditional, you might be in a marriage where it's conditional, you'll know deep down inside, the greatest one of all loves me anyhow. It'll help you endure and overcome in all these situations and reduce your expectations on these other people. Because you'll look at them and say, you know, I may, may not meet up to your standard. I may not meet up to what you want and desire but I've already had the seal of approval from the master on high. What manner of love, that's what God has for you all this year and beyond. That's your word for the week.